has um, the fairing we put in on the last episode is cured, so now it's down to the uh, good and dirty. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and start sanding. You don't need to see that. It's just basically sanding. Keep off the edges. Say it again. Keep off the edges. Uh, right now we're just trying to get it down smooth. And then when I come in for the next layer of uh, fairing compound, I'm going to probably do it in sections of here and there. Uh, so like I had said before, that when since these seams are close together in some places, I don't want to mess up this one when I start doing the next one below it. So I'll probably alternate sides, uh, maybe a two-day process, so I, on the next go around will most likely be the last one for cleaning up the edges before we get on and putting the cloth on it and smoothing that out. So let me get on with this and we'll get back when, when I'm done. We start uh, using colored pigment in the uh, fairing compound. So. Just turn off my Jet 1000B air filter up in the ceiling there. Some of you may know I have it. Okay, I just finished sanding it down, and you can see when you're uh, sanding along that the edges go ghost. They kind of just fade out to nothing. And um, let me uh, reset up again. I wanted to show you kind of what I'm doing. I um, also went around with my, uh, I must put it away, my pencil, and I've been marking the spots I'm going to come back with the colored pigment uh, added to the, uh, the fairing compound, but it doesn't look like I'm going to have too much to have to do, and like I said in the last video, that six ounce cloth is heavy enough that it spans a lot of the problems, uh, little dings and divots and little undulations along the side. It'll cover a lot of that up, and then um, uh, there'll probably be very little, if any, fairing at all once I get the six ounce cloth in. But I've got to wipe it down and let it set for the night, and then tomorrow we'll do that again. But let me uh, zoom in here close for uh, showing you how the uh, sanding uh, the edges feather up. You can see in here where I've got my, my it's been sanded down, and you can see how the fairing goes from dark white and then just kind of disappears into the wood again. And I really don't feel any kind of edge in here at all until I get up into the area where I haven't sanded on the, uh, on the, uh, oops. <laughs> I haven't, uh, I haven't sanded along this rough spot here. I've done a little bit of sanding, but there's a little bit of bumps in the edge of the fiberglass. But okay, down in here, I've got a little area that I could, I could feel. There's a little bump right in here, and then I've got a rough edge in here. I'll come back and fare that whole corner in around, and probably the new line will up in here will come in around something like that, and I'll fare that all in. Same with the. Uh, that little area up here in the transom that was off. There's a kind of a little hole over here, and then right up in here, there's this bad spot too. So, well, I'm going to start up again with the uh, mixing up some varying compound. What I'm using this time was the sculpt wood paste from System Three, but I'm going to be adding some yellow pigment paste, which they also sell too. Uh, I find the yellow is a little easier to use. They have some blues, and you mix blue and uh, yellow to get green if you need that. Uh, they have black too, but that stuff is insidious because it gets on everything and it just takes a little bit to turn everything black. So I like to use yellow. So let me go ahead and, and mix up some, um, put the two um, halves together and then I'll put a dollop of the, uh, the yellow on top and then mix it all up. Normally uh, they would say, you know, mix the other two together before you add the color uh, and to lighten up on part A because the uh, um, System 3's uh, pigment pastes are made out of uh, Part A epoxy with color uh, pigments added to it. So, but it's uh, such such little goes a long ways. I don't worry about offsetting the ratio a little bit. You can be off 10% a little bit between A and B, and it'll still set up and cure fine. So, let me get that done. I'll come I'll back, back a little bit here, and, and uh, uh, I've got what I think is enough. Part A in the line to come up to my my first line here. Tap it, and then I can look inside and say yes, it's settled down to that line. So I'll add the uh, part B now and do the same thing. Tap it down so it's up on this other line, and my lights are flickering on. I've got my A and B up to the mark here and tamp down. Now I'll go ahead and pull the lid off the little yellow guy here. I find that it's easiest just to use the stick you're going to mix with to grab a little bit of pigment paste. Doesn't take much. 
A little dab like that will do you. If you're into brill cream, I guess. Or if you're old enough to remember what I'm even talking about. So, let me go ahead and mix this all together. You can see how it's starting to turn yellow already. And I'll come back a minute and a half from now. Okay, I got my mix. Uh, hopefully I'll get out of the camera here and not be in the way. When you're doing this, uh, scrape the sides, scrape the stick, scrape the bottom, get it all mixed up, and then when it's time, just kind of, ah, stand over here, my end, yeah, just kind of tip it over and run it out like a cement truck into the cup, let it kind of settle down. Ah. Okay, we're going to start in here on this transom part and put in a little color up in here where I think it's a little thin. Okay, looks like we're going to... Fill in that whole thing. In. Okay, I think we'll do that. Now let's go down one of these other side seams here. It's just like that. Do some work around the bow here too. I've got some spots that I want to fix up. this down on the bottom that will be below the uh, 6 ounce cloth that will come and touch up later. I probably should stay off of this right now. Let me get the other side here. see the wood coming through when you come back to these other scrapes. Okay. Let me get the other side here. I don't know if you can see that or not. Same thing. 